Welcome to Greenable Woodbridge. I am your host, Carolyn Ehrlich. Many people think when we talk about sustainability that we're just talking about the environment. But in fact, sustainability is a whole lot more. It's about your approach to life and that it is fulfilling and productive. It's about how we balance our personal lives, our social lives, our economic lives and the environment and have that balance with the community. When all of that falls in place, we are talking about sustainability. And the artists who display here and the gallery on Main, which is where we're sitting in my mind, is the epitome of sustainability because everything here is about a balanced and productive lifestyle. And not only that, but so many of the artists base what they do on sustainability. So we have with us today, um, Lauren, I gotta look at it, Lauren Artakis. Aritakis. Uh, Aritakis, I, swear, I always get <laughs> it wrong, okay. I always get it wrong. It's okay. But um, you do vintage upscale up scale jewelry and we are both wearing a piece today so um and i <laughs> thank have bought, you so much i have bought several and i just <laughs> love to wear them so appreciate your support thank you so much <laughs> and um lisa shepherd stewart mm -hmm. does glass beads and african textiles and you also have a store in rawway that's correct where you show your work so right. that's pretty exciting yes it is <laughs> so um Let's start off by talking about the gallery and what it is and how it works. The gallery is a really uh, unique space. It brings together the artists. And what I really loved about it when I was approached to be a part of it was that the artists were actually a part of uh, meeting with the public and kind of manning the store, if you will. So we each got a, you know, we each get a chance to interact, see what's new, and be involved in each other's work. So it's a lot of fun. I. I I love the opportunity. It's it's um, it's great to be in this this like th it's a beautiful space. Um, I'm I'm always thankful. I learn a lot from the other artists. It's definitely a co-op, so we each have to uh, work a couple hours, um, um, you know, a couple times a month. But it's um it's a really unique approach, like you said, um, to to offer um, beautiful pieces to to the public at really good price some right. of, some <laughs> some of it is is priced really well really well yes. priced as <laughs> that well. is right and yeah, the variety exactly. too like right. different types of art different styles so you can come in you know you're going to find something you like mm -hmm. yeah, so it's really cool it's definitely yeah. definitely yeah. eclectic right yeah. and <laughs> i have to mention <laughs> that we don't charge you anything there's no rent for this space the township pays the which rent which is very unique and so yes. thankful. also mm -hmm. when you sell something we're not taking a piece of it. We get 100%. It's 100%, right. which I think is right. one of the reasons a lot of the prices are more affordable, not a, f a better price, mm -hmm. let's say. Right. Because there's nobody taking right. anything. We're not giving out up of anything. It. Right. Right. it helps everybody. Right. It helps yeah. the artists, it helps the public. So it's a great yeah. combination. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and we, the town is as excited as all of you mm -hmm. about great. this space. <laughs> like I said, we, we, we so appreciate the opportunity that you've really, that the town and the mayor have, and you have given us. Um, it's just such a unique opportunity yeah, and it's really- You anywhere else. No, <laughs> no, no. 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 I'm happy to be here. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah we're very happy thankful. keeping it going. <laughs> Thank you. So um, let's hear about what you do. Do you want to start? Um, I, I do upcycle jewelry. Um, I uh, go to yard sales, estate sales. People give me jewelry, broken pieces. Um, I look for earrings, charms, buttons, anything. This is like a, this is actually what I'm wearing today. Um, uh, this necklace was purchased. Uh, Pro, it was a big long chain, and I actually used part of it for another necklace I just sold recently. Um, probably at a yard sale. This was purchased at a, an, uh, I think the auction. And this is a button. This is a vintage button. And I just like using mm -hmm. things that are already out there mm -hmm. um, to express my art. I just love using pieces that are already out there, giving them a new use, um, things that are no longer wanted, giving it a new, a new life. I was kind of raised on that, um, that whole attitude of use what's already, what you already have mm -hmm. instead of, you know, we're very much a, a toss away society that yes. people like to buy things and they get rid of them and toss them out. And I really like, I'm not big on mass market. I know I, I, I can't fault anybody, this, but this is 
totally, you know, for if they're using mass market items, that's okay. I, but my philosophy is to use what's already presented, what's already out there and what's no longer wanted, uh, what's no longer useful to someone else and purchasing it for minimal price um, and just using it in my art and uh, giving it a new life and a new use and a new purpose. Yeah. But, but I also sustainability, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. But I also like to use the word um, repurpose because a oh, lot of things that we use mm -hmm. um, are no longer used in one way, mm -hmm. and they can mm -hmm. be used in another way. And a big example, if I have time, is to um, my cleaned at my mother and father's house, and um, I grew up on a, a, a nice piece of property. They did a lot of canning. They grew their own vegetables, mm -hmm. their own fruit. They did a lot of canning, and we had all of these mason jars. So when I cleaned out the house, there were about 50 or 60 mason jars, and I used a lot of them. Um, I cleaned them up, and we used them as the vases for the centerpieces at my reunion, my high school reunion. Wow. That so, is so yeah, cool. we nice. saved a lot of money, and we <laughs> yeah. repurposed them. Yeah. So repurpose is also them. right, cool. and repurpose is such a a good use. Uh, it's just a good useful word for today right. to find objects that are no longer being used in one way and using it for another way. Perfect, I think it makes you more creative too because you're thinking ahead. Right. It's not like you're just taking supplies. You're actually right. taking something exactly. that's, that's there. It's exactly. Exactly. I know that. Different I, level of creativity. I know that you do that also mm -hmm. with a lot of your <laughs> so with your jewelry. I you do. do I do. Um, my main focus and passion is sewing and quilting, um, specifically with African fabrics. So as sewers and quilters, I don't know if either of you sew or quilt, but as sewers and quilters, we are kind of. That's our whole goal is to take little scraps of fabric and take, you know, whether they're using old um, garments or things. Mm -hmm. that, and traditionally, we would use old pieces and not go to a quilt store and buy fabric. We do that too now. But we would take old blankets, you know, old and rip them up and repurpose, remake them into quilts, into quilted items. Mm -hmm. So sewers and quilters already have that, I think, innately in them mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a big way. And um, so we just have fun kind of remixing things, repurposing. I tried to do a class. I do classes and um, sell fabrics in the studio in Rahway. And one of my challenges was take an old quilt that you're not really in love with anymore, uh -huh. cut it up and make new things out of it. So I took a quilt and made handbags and pillows Whoa, from cool. it. And people were a little bit horrified by the fact that I was cutting a quilt. And I said, well, you're not going to take your masterpiece quilt that you've made. Take something you're not yeah, you know, too fond of, mm -hmm. give it new life. And I was able to make a change purse and a handbag. and. I would love to things. see the handbag. Was, Can you show it to me? The oh handbag became a pattern, but that became a class. So even that the idea of recycled itself. I take that so, class. <laughs> yeah, and it's fun. And just playing with all the little scraps of fabrics and making new fabric out of it because you're mm -hmm. piecing them together. So again, it's it's a fun challenge. Mm -hmm. And you do feel like you're keeping things out of the landfill to some degree. Absolutely. Uh, oh, absolutely. Another part of what I, since I import fabrics and beads from Ghana mainly, I go to Ghana yearly and, um, you know, for my shopping for, the, for the, mm -hmm. the store and everything. And they have recycled glass beads. So they take literal glass oh. bottles, crush them into a powder, oh. add oh. resins, they hand paint them. Some of them are on my piece here. And the market, they have a bead market every Thursday. And it's, it's amazing. So oh, the work goodness. that goes into it, the firing and the... Beautiful. It's wow. amazing. And when you think they did your glass bottles that you would see on the street, it's, it's, it's amazing. So they just have a whole new life. Oh. That is it's fantastic. very, very cool. Yeah. That's amazing. Now, now, through art, and this is pretty a lot of what you're doing, mm -hmm. is that we can celebrate our vast, rich diversity that we have in our communities. Exactly. exactly. So, um, you know, and, and just educate people. That's the other thing, too. Is. And it's fun to even talk about them and get people excited about using them and mm -hmm. they, they value them more. You know, they kind of really get into the whole aspect of them being recycled. Then you take the bees and you make something beautiful out of it, and it just keeps going. So it, it's it very is, cool. It is really <laughs> great. So yeah. I'm kind of, I, I wanted to ask you how you get your inspirations, but am I correct in thinking that you get your inspirations from the material you're using, or is there? I would say from the materials. Mm -hmm. For me, it's I see the fabric, and sometimes those fabrics are made out of recycled um, you know, materials or indigenous indigenous materials like um, tree fibers and things like that, palm trees. Um, so I get it from the artists that make the fabrics. Mm -hmm. And then for me to take the next step, maybe cut into it or make something out of it, make a handbag or something, It's that's the inspiration for me. Amazing. <laughs> it, it, it's fun. It's I a lot of fun. It's this addictive. Is what I, this it's is addictive. what I mean about how, how the <laughs> other artists really inspire me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And you inspire each other, actually. Right, right. And we wouldn't right. know each other except for the gallery. Right. right. So we, you really right. get a nice mix and of things right. you wouldn't have thought about before. Which 
brings me to my next topic mm -hmm. because um, we have a creative team and um, Brandon is the co-chair of it okay. and I'm hoping that all of the artists here want to join that team and while we're talking about Brandon I would say he is the guiding star oh. for this place and um, many, many <laughs> thanks to Brandon Howell because he is the man. So um, we, are, we did one um, about our latest update on this plan was two years ago. Mm -hmm. And we talk about what our visions are, what our goals are, what actions we want to take. And it needs to be a collaborative effort. So we would love to have everybody on the team. Yeah. We also are doing an inventory of artists so we can get to know what artists are in town so you have more people right. to mix with and work with. And also all of our art places, all of the outside art that we have. Mm -hmm. So let Brandon know if you want to be a part of this. Sure, all sounds of the, good. <laughs> the, the viewing audience, if you're interested in this, you can go on the Greenable Woodbridge website mm -hmm. and you can sign up for it or if you just have something you want to say. So one of the things and one of the goals that we have on this year's um, plan is we did, uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to go to the Woodbridge Library where we have a rain garden and we have a butterfly at that rain garden made from recycled materials. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely wow. beautiful. Okay. And we'd mm -hmm. like to have a projects like that, community built community projects, okay. at all of our many rain gardens. Mm -hmm. So if you know anybody or have any ideas of how we can make that happen, wow. um, so I giving you something to think okay. about. <laughs> definitely, definitely. The, the, the most creative minds, I think, are in this building. So I would say so. <laughs> we'll get something to happen. I, I think people are, there are people that are really creative, they just don't know it. Mm -hmm. they, That's they, a good point. Right, right. They just, sometimes just, you just need a little vision to see something um, mm -hmm. in a different way. Um, and I just think maybe even taking a walk through our gallery that's why I always want to just get people to come in and right. just see mm -hmm. and just get your creative juices flowing and, you know, getting ideas. Get inspired. And, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we would love for everybody to come and purchase something, but just <laughs> yes. to come through. Right. It's and an look, experience and look, in and above itself. Right. And look, right. and now, like right now, we, we have a bunch of new artists and um, it's, really it's just, work. it's very exciting it right really now. Amazing. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's inspiring to me. So, um, it's a known fact that the arts build our economy. They're a total economic driver. Mm -hmm. And the mayor and I firmly believe that Gallery on Main is going to be a magnet for new businesses, quality businesses that are going to open up on Main Street. Okay. So we really, really want to thank you for your service. <laughs> but at the same time, I want to remind people that another part of being sustainable, and a big part of it, is to buy local. Yes. So for the holiday season, right. think our downtowns first. And you can certainly come to the gallery on Main. Mm -hmm. Next door is Nev's Jewelers. Across the street is Goddess Boutique. And all of our wonderful restaurants can give you, I was going to say gift certificate, <laughs> but they're gift cards now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's also a, a downtown dollars program mm -hmm. that you are taking part of, and many of the, towns, the, the businesses downtown are taken care of. Right. So um, I, I really want to thank, uh, if you can spread our thanks to everybody who's a part of this gallery. We will. Especially oh, we, will. we will. We will. And um, I want to wish you a happy, happy holiday. Thank you so Likewise. much. Thank you, too. Well, but I also want to thank you. Oh, and for the everything you and, do. And the exactly. mayor and the township for, for everything really that you do for of. us. I mean, you provide <laughs> us this space. Right. And you're promoting us. It's and huge. And you're supporting us by you know, and we all appreciate it. it. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I cool. also, you. also want to thank you for everything that you do. Uh, you. Aside from the gallery, um, you know, the, the whole sustain, sustainability thing for, for Woodbridge, I so appreciate that. Mm -hmm. That is um, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a great note to end this on. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Perfect. So thank you for watching Greenable Woodbridge. Thank you, everybody. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks.
Hi, I'm Brandon Powell from Gallery on Main. Come on down and take a look at the unique one-of-a-kind pieces here for the holiday season. Here we have a piece by multimedia artist Anthony Santella. Anthony uses a lot of myths, legends, and folklore in his work. And a lot of his work is done with uh, sustainably sourced materials. For example, these pieces were used from uh, salvaged trees that were either cut down from construction or that were downed in storms. Here we have Mask 2, which is made of an oak. And over here we have Dryad, which is actually hewn from a massive trunk that was downed in a storm. Here we have works by Sharon Savitz. Sharon is a painter. We like to think of her as a modern day French Impressionist and that she paints more in form and light than in line. Uh, she has a lot of vibrant color work in her paintings. There's a, a painterly brush stroke where you can actually see the brush strokes in her work. Uh, a lot of her work is uh, figurative as well as still life and she is best known for her paintings of cats. This is the work of furniture designer and housewares designer Joe Messick of Edgewood Studios, right here in Woodbridge. Joe uses live edge wood. That means you can actually see where the bark was attached to the wood planks that he was using. Joe makes benches, tables, as well as housewares like mirrors, cutting boards, and tea lights. This is the work of pastel artist Ken Witkowski. What makes his work so special, and especially to Gallery on Main, is that a lot of these scenes are done right here in Woodbridge. Here we have the work of our newest artist, Maura Donahue. Maura is from right here in Woodbridge. Maura is best known for her studies in acrylics with vibrant colors and bold brush strokes. Here we have the work of Franny Lugo, another resident of Woodbridge. Franny's paintings range from self-portraits, to landscapes, to still life, and even some surrealist paintings. Franny is also a very talented musician and songwriter. Thank you for watching Greenable Woodbridge. Come on down to Gallery on Main.